Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, for those of you that subscribe to my videos, you'll know that this is the ES6928P uh, voice recognition uh, module, standalone. It talks to you, very easy to use. I've got tons of videos that show off its capabilities, so if you're interested, have a look back. You'll see it in action in this video. But this video is to show off the, uh, the uh, ES6928P logic conditioner circuit. Now you can buy this fully assembled and tested or as a DIY kit and it's easily interfaced with the um, ES6928P module very easily interfaced. I'm going to show you how to interface it how to use it, how it works, and then I'm going to show you how to build it in case you buy it as a DIY kit. Now it offers three different modes of operation one, toggle mode. The uh, voice recognition module has four outputs and they only stay on for about 500 milliseconds when activated so that can be interfaced with this to uh, toggle. So if uh, if command one activates is activated, then LED number one will turn on and stay on until the same command is mentioned again. So and the output there's an output corresponding to it, so you can add it to a relay driver. We have several relay relay kits and modules in our store, so uh, have a look. Uh, but we're just going to show off the logic conditioner to begin with. The second mode is combination lock mode. So if you set it up uh, and you, you, you have the four outputs to the uh, voice recognition module connected to the logic conditioner and you say command 1, command 2, command 3, command 4 within a certain time frame, uh, output 1 will go high and you can actually choose whether you want it to go high for a certain amount of time or toggle uh, using the onboard uh, header here. It comes with two little header connectors. The third mode is uh, the output doubler. Using these four outputs, uh, you can um, you can cr uh, create eight output controls. This is a little bit trickier. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not tricky, but it's kind of neat how it works. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to hook it up. The four output plugs, I've actually cut off the grounds because you don't need them, because you'll be using the same power supply to supply the uh, logic conditioner and the voice recognition module together using uh, 7 to 12 volts DC. So first of all, I'm going to connect my grounds. The top pin right here, a uh, terminal block of the voice recognition module is ground and on the logic conditioner the board or the ground is labeled right here. It's the bottom pin. So we're going to connect that and then the bottom pin here on this terminal block is the power, uh, 7 to 12 volts in. Uh, the upper pin here labeled V plus is 7 to 12 volts in. So we're going to connect those. Now I've connected uh, an extra flying wire here and a flying wire here. This is ground and this is V plus, so 7 to 12 volts DC. So we apply that here, powers both the logic conditioner and the uh, voice recognition system. Now on the board, the uh, there's a terminal block, uh, two terminal blocks, uh, essentially four different connection pins labeled in one, in two, in three, and four, and those are for your uh, voice recognition module outputs. This is output 1, output 2, output 3, output 4. So this output 1 will be fed into in 1. Uh, output 2 will be fed into in 2 and so on. So let's connect those. Now I've got power hooked up. I've got my outputs connected to my inputs on the logic controller board. I haven't placed any header connectors on uh, my little header, header here. I'm going to talk about those in a minute. If you leave all of these connections untouched leaving the connectors off, then it sets you into default mode, which is, uh, which is toggle mode. So you have, uh, you have uh, four different outputs, output 1, or LED 1, LED 2, LED 3, and LED 4, which correspond to out 1, out 2, out 3, out 4 on the side, which you can solder to for interface. And uh, it's set to toggle again. So this mode, you can't choose uh, to have a monetary output. Uh, I'll show you. I'll tell you a bit more about that in a second. The other two modes, you can set it so that the LEDs will toggle or stay on for a short period of time. So this is by default um, toggle mode. So I'll plug in my, my nine volts. I've got nine volts connected. One, two, three, four, four, two. Three, three, one. 
and there you go. Uh, the outputs will toggle. Great for uh, relay board control. Now I've programmed in commands 1, 2, 3, and 4 as 1, 2, 3, and 4 for simplicity. Uh, you can have them, you can have quantum physics or uh, I like birds as an example. You don't, you can program in your own, your own different, uh, your own different commands and reprogram them at ease because there's an onboard EEPROM which saves it after you turn, saves the data after you turn off the module. So I'm going to change those commands in a minute, but before I do, I'm going to uh, show you the second mode. There are three pin headers from the left. It's TOG, PR1, and PR2. TOG stands for toggle, PR1 stands for program 1, and PR2 stands for program 2. So I'm going to put a connector on PR1, so program 1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this works. Um, I'm going to reprogram the commands to be 1, 2, 4, and control, and you'll see why in a minute. I'm going to run through this demonstration twice to show you the, uh, to show you this in the two different operations. You can again have it so that the output one to out, out one toggles, or so the outputs toggle, or you can have them so that they go high for a short period of time then go low. This is the logic doubler operation. So I programmed in my commands to be 1, 2, 4, and control. So by doing this, what I can do is I can say 1, control, and, out, and LED 1 will turn on. And if I say uh, 1, 2, 4, then LED 7 will turn on. It's a, it's a multiplication. So I can say 4, 4, and control, and LED 8 will turn on. So if you don't say it fast enough, and especially with the control bit, nothing will happen. So again you can you can control out outputs by using multiplication by adding one plus two plus four and control is seven four plus four plus control is eight one plus two plus control equals three uh... one plus three plus one is you know and control is output five and so off and so on and so forth so uh... let me just power it up and i will show you this because it's i'm not the greatest at explaining it one. one control two. Two. two control two. One. Two. one two control two. four, four. Two. control two. One. one four, four. Two. control Two, two, four, three, control, four, one, one, two, two, four, three, control, four, four, three, four, three, control. Now I've placed my second connector on the tog pin. So I'm bridging the tog circuit, so toggle. So now the outputs will toggle when I get to them. So I'm going to do show you a few examples. Hopefully it speaks for itself. One. one. Control. Four. 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 Three. Control. Four. One. one. Two. Four. Two. Control. And there you go. I unplugged it, obviously. So now let me, let me show you the last operation. I'm going to keep the toggle connector on, but I'm going to. I took my uh, PR1 connector off and placed it on the PR2 clip. So now we're in, we're in the final operation. Now, if I take the toggle off, uh, LED1 will go high for a short period of time when activated, and then turn and go low again. But I have the toggle connector on. I'm going to leave it on so that the output will toggle. This is the combination lock operation. This is a fun one. I programmed in four different commands. Uh, very simplistic combination. Cats and dogs smell. So if I say those in the right order quick, quickly enough, you have to say them. If I say cats and, and then let's wait 10 seconds, and then say dogs smell, uh, it won't work. You have to know your, your uh, you have to know in which order and what commands. This makes it a really, really kind of cool security circuit. This is one of my favorite modes. So again, LED one will toggle, and the outputs here on the side. There's actually a five volt output, ground output, and then 
or a ground pin, a 5 volt pin, and 8 outputs that correspond to the LEDs. They're all labeled. So, this is neat. You can interface this with a relay or a solenoid or whatever you want. Your, your Arduino circuit, whatever. So, I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to say cat and dog smell in that order. And then LED 1 should toggle. If I take that tog pin, tog connector off, then it'll just go high for about half a second, then turn off. So let me plug it in. And let me show you this. It's in, uh, let me show you this. Cats and dogs smell cats and dogs smell cats. Dogs and smell. As you can see, nothing happens. So that's the that's the controller. Very easy to use. Uh, it comes with two header connectors because that's all you need. Uh, you can buy this for a few dollars less, uh, so you can assemble it yourself. It's very easy. I've decided that I'm actually not going to do the assembly video for this video because it's going to drag on too long. I'm going to make one uh, in the next few days so that you can buy it yourself. It it can be used with other projects, but I customized it for the uh, ES6928P voice recognition controller. Uh, all this can be found at engineeringshock.com and at 3electronicLessons.com, which will take you to our eBay store. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you found this to be interesting. Thank you.